Right, DC, you've had a lot of high praise for this mixed martial artist leading into the fight this week. He is as well-rounded a fighter as we have in this division and kind of a case of pick your poison. He can do it all. He can do it all in one package. I mean, I think of the greats, the George St. Pierre's of, uh, of the, the John Joneses and the best fighters in the world, the guys that just seem to possess every skill that allows for them to be great. This man has that. He has that ability. How does he implement that? How does he use all those skills in order to get his hand raised? He's done it time and time again. Big cast tonight. But I would imagine with that skill set, he can get it done. Yeah, he said confidently, I've got to be ready for everything, perhaps more of a specialist on the other side. But this man has accomplished a great deal thus far, and he has shown no signs of slowing down. champion Colby Covington and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington he's a hell of a fighter but ultimately it's about the fighting and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career a former champion a guy that's been in there with the very best in the division and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Anjos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Anjos, who is also known for his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goals. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the future in the color. Yeah! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Kobe Chaos Covington. Herb Dean, our right, right. referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here. Is it going to be the volume takedowns from Colby Covington, or is he going to sit there and feed off of that jab? You never really know what you're going to get. The one guarantee when you're fighting Colby Covington, it's going to be all offense all the time. Clips him with the left hand. Jab there by Covington. He's a guy who will wow you with pace and pressure, whether he's wrestling or striking. Yeah, I mean, he, it, it's his calling card, right? His calling card is for him to really dictate the pace, really push the pressure on you, and hope that his opponent will wilt under the pressure that he brings. Why well, didn't take as long to get our first clinch situation here? Some wrestlers pursue the takedown at distance. This guy has no issues trying to get it out of this clinch situation. No, he loves this clinch because he's got a great inside out trip. He does a good job of changing his levels to get to the hips. He's just a good fighter from in close. He has spent a lifetime developing his skills. He wants to impose his will on his opponents from this position. Covington gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down... Oh! Massive head kick! Kick checked effectively there by Covington. Just 
shoulder for him, and it's not a going round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Covington's in half guard now. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. He's got to be careful here. Covington's back in half court. Big ground and pound. Fist here by Covington. High level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Right into side mount. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound shot. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Covington. Oh, another strike lands from the top. The hard ground and pound is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. Massive shot from the top. Another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Good work from the top here by Covington. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. This is a terrible position. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. That rear naked choke is tight. He's working harder and harder to just secure the arm under the chin to make his opponent tap. Oh, what a way to work. Look at him shove the elbow up, John. Break the lock and get back his back to defend that rear naked choke. He goes back to the well and lands another strike from the top. And now you can see the swell. Final seconds here. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Another ground and pound strike lands. Second round, straight ahead. All right, well, we have the best cut men and women in the business, and they are going to have some work to do if we get back to the stools. This thing is nasty. It's nasty. I mean, it's hard to watch this guy rely on the toughness knowing that his opponent will not relent. His opponent will not give him any breathing room. The guy's going to continue to attack this cut, and if it keeps getting worse at this rate, this fight's going to be stopped. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can right. be. But you still right. got to do something different, though, because even though his blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. Oh, defense into offense, shot blocked. Counter hook is good. Very fast, Nick Lansley. Oh, beautiful job by Covington to get inside and ultimately to get the takedown. I mean, even when he's striking, he's always thinking about the takedown. I know I've referred to the law of fight on a number of occasions, but even in that fight, with 400 strikes, he attempted 20 takedowns. Right. I mean, this is a guy that wants to wrestle early and wants to wrestle often. Oh, man, another blow right on that previously targeted area. He's in real trouble now. Right now, it looks like he's going to chase an arm triangle. What he needs to do next is push the left arm across and try and secure it with his head. Everybody in this.
Venus Arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Kobe Chaos Covington! All right, so not every day you see Kobe Covington win by submission, but an opportunity materialized and Chaos closed the show. He is once again showing why he's one of the best welterweights in the world. Love him or hate him, you gotta respect Kobe Covington. And tonight, he earns even more respect by winning this fight by submission.